Hello friends, today we will be uh, discussing about the procedure qualification test. What are the contents of a PQR in details? Because this is much required to understand. PQR is recorded in a similar format to a WPS. The only difference is it is having the actual welding variables recorded during the procedure qualification test. What is procedure qualification record? If we define it, it can be like this. A PQR is a record of the welding variables recorded during welding of the test coupons and also contains the test results of the tested specimen. The basic contents of a PQR is essential variables and supplementary essential variables when it is required. Changes to the PQR. I have mentioned in my last video that Revision of a PQR is generally not permitted except otherwise there are some minor changes like uh, incorrect P number, F number assigned or addendum to the code. Suggested format for WPS and PQR is QW482 as per ASME section 9 for WPS and QW483 as per ASME section 9 for PQR. Construction of a PQR. PQR is having similar formats of a WPS. The major difference WPS is having a range of all the variables whereas PQR is recording the actual data and ranges. Since PQR is a proved record, it is supported by visual, NDT and destructive test reports, MTC for base materials and the welding consumables. If applicable, we need also to attach the material test certificate of the gases. Contents of a PQR. PQR is generally signed by third party inspector and reviewed by contractor quality representative. Visual acceptance reports, NDT reports, RT, UT, PT, MPT as applicable. Destructive test report, which is called also DT, bend, tensile, hardness, impact, macro etching, nick break, etc. etc. And the material test certificate of welding consumable, base metal, filler metal, and gas, etc. Let us see how a PQR look. This is an actual PQR from my previous project. You can see the blocks, it is looking similar like welding procedure as we said. There are joint design, base metal, filler metal, preheat, post welty treatment, gases, electrical characteristics, techniques and the most important are the welding parameters at the bottom in a tabular format. Let us discuss the PQR in details. You can see at the top there are PQR number, WPS number, the weld process all similar to WPS, the co applicable code and if any reference code required to mention. Then there are joint design, there are base metals, preheat, post welty treatment. I'm not going in much detail because we already discussed these things in detail during WPS preparation. You can see a enlarged view of filler metal, Positions, gases, electrical characteristics, techniques, everything is there. These are all actual data. And this is the table, most important table. From here, we have to apply the tolerance provided by the standard and record it in the pre-WPS to turn it to final WPS. These are the test results mentioned in a tabular format. You can see crosswell tensile test as per API 1104. So this PQR is qualified as per API 1104. Then there is bend test reports. Then there is fracture test. Then macro examination. Now we will see the attached report. This is the test certificate for cross weld tensile test. You can see the cross weld specimen sample thickness with area of the test piece and the achieved ultimate tensile strength. The bend test result, phase bend, and then root bend as required in API 1104. Macro examination as per API 1104. The 2013 is the addition of the API 1104. Hardness survey test, 
there is fracture test this is the hardness test the indentation locations as mandated by the standard where we need to get the indentation and get the value from oil material from the has means heat affected zone and there is a table of the readings so there is a maximum acceptable hardness values if it goes beyond this then the oil coupon has to be rejected by the third party this is a picture from macro this macro photograph showing us very well fused oil this is the radiographic examination report for the test piece so the non destructive testing has to be done of course immediately after the welding before the test piece has been cut and resized for different tensile bend hardness all these tests if the radiography or another non destructive test shows any failure then we will not proceed for the destructive test this is a sample uh, mtc for pipe so we need to verify the heat number and the contents you can see the arrow mark this is the actual pipe number which we have used during the test this is the argon gas certificate where the purity is mentioned 99.997 the final one is the welding consumable this welding consumable here it is er70 s6 this is for the filler at the root and the filling capping is for e8018 c1 h4r this is for the low hydrogen filling capping material to conclude what we have seen as a content of the pqr first is the recorded format of essential and supplementary essential variable then we will see the destructive and non destructive test reports followed by material test certificate for the base metal welding consumable gases so that's all a pqr contains and pqr must be signed by the third party welding inspector and reviewed for any clerical mistakes or any technical error by contractor quality representative this will be the mandatory attachment for a wps for pipeline or piping or unlisted material in a wps d1.1 hope i am clear with the contents of pqr today if you really like the way of my teaching and if what i am discussing is fruitful for you please make a chance for your friends to be benefited from it and please share and subscribe my channel to inspire me more thank you signing off so much